YouTube, it's me, Jen, your Pudgy Picker, here at my desk. I uh, wanted to do another haul for you. This time we are hauling things from a store called Price Drop. If you've watched my channel before, you've seen uh, hauls that I've done from this store before. Uh, this place is uh, not a chain or anything, but I'm sure there's places all over the country that do this. This store buys pallets uh, of returns from Amazon and they resell it individually. So what they do is they start on Saturday. Every item is a, do a dollar. This is the third time I've taken this video because you know, I don't like to edit. I just, wah, this is what you see. So we're just gonna go with it. So just laugh along with me or laugh at me. That's okay too. So starting on Saturday, every item is $7. Uh, Sunday, it's $6. They keep adding stuff. Uh, they set it up on Saturday, add more stuff on Sunday, and then the rest of the week they kind of go down in dollar increments until they get to Friday, and everything is a quarter. Uh, usually they close around maybe like 11 or 12 on that day because they run out of stock. They clear everything out the rest of the day and get everything set up for the next day where everything's $7. This stuff is everything imaginable. Think of all the things you can find on Amazon. And that's what you're going to see. You see car parts, parts to stuff you have no idea what it is, um, clothes, curtains, uh, tapestries, I uh, even got a wedding dress there once, um, a lot of home decor, some books, uh, all kinds of stuff. Everything you can imagine, it's there. Um, I go usually, when I do go, I go on a Wednesday, everything is $3 each. Now, if they have a box and it's got a whole bunch of candles or a whole bunch of this or a whole bunch of that, that's considered one item. So I bought a whole bunch of stuff today and I wanted to show it to you. Things have changed a little bit since I was there last. Uh, last time it was a free-for-all. Stuff is returned. It's in boxes. A lot of it isn't marked. So people were opening it and like looking at it and tossing it and there was empty boxes and there was stuff that pieces parts were missing so they have a new rule now that if if it's in a box and you want to look at it you have to take it to a table you can open it up there's a little box cutter you can open it up look at it if you do not want it you leave it on that table and every once in a while they come over retape the box and put it back out so i spent a lot of time this trip walking over because I was opening something at the at the bin and she's like you're not allowed to open it and I'm like look I haven't been here in a while so what am I supposed to do you know I understand it could probably get very frustrating for the people who work there I'm going off on a tangent but <sighs> since I've been there things have changed now that's good in a way because if you do open up something and it is something you want the pieces are still there so yeah so I got a variety of things. Uh, most everything, of course, is to sell as I am a reseller. Um, there are stores like this all over. Price Drop is an individual place. There's also a place in Westlake, which is on the west side of Cleveland, uh, that's called Westlake Liquidation. They seem to sell a lot smaller items. Um, I don't know, and they open stuff up, and they have things laid out on tables. These, it's just bins. Um... I'll try to link the description down below where I actually wore my uh, GoPro so you can see what the store looks like. Um, it's a little bit of a free-for-all. I've never been on a Saturday. I've never been on a Sunday. Um, of course, I mean, there are some crazy things you can get. You can get drones, all kinds of stuff. But there's a lot of people there, and I don't need inventory so bad that I'm willing to go and, like, wrestle people for <laughs> just putting that out there. So if you look around in your area, if you live, especially near a bigger city, I'm sure you could find a place like this. So uh, kind of look around because they are popping up everywhere. All these things are returned to Amazon. They got to go somewhere. So just saying that. <laughs> so I didn't get a huge amount, but I did oh, get this bag. These are my reusable bags um, that I use when I go thrifting. Uh, if you don't know, I live in a county in uh, Ohio in Cle where Cleveland is located. And starting January, uh, they're phasing out plastic bags. Um, by August, it's going to be mandatory for most places who use plastic bags to not use them. So I'm getting myself geared up for that. So let me show you the awesomeness that I got. Now keep in mind, these items were $3 each. And uh, some of them, a lot of them are still in the box, thankfully. So I get how they're doing it now and it makes sense. Uh, let me see. 
oh, I did open this one already. Ugh. Right next to glitter that I hate. I hate styrofoam. It gets everywhere. So let me show you the picture on the box first. Isn't that cool? So it is a clock with utensils. I think I've gotten these there before. Um, oh, it's everywhere. That's okay. I haven't swept up here yet. Hi, it's Tater. So let me show it to you. That. Isn't that cool? Ugh. So, yeah. Um, it is a utensil clock. Would look awesome in somebody's kitchen. So uh, you could tell it's still taped. Nothing has been done to it. It's still in its original packaging. Uh, so, yeah. So um, that will probably go in my booth. I would guess for probably $10 to $12. Again, I paid three. Oh, foam everywhere. I hate styrofoam. I hate glitter. And in the reseller business, you cannot get away from those two things. Okay, come on. Get off my desk. Get off my desk. See, you could tell I don't edit. Okay. I set it down and it poofs everywhere. Okay, we'll clean that up later. It's even stuck on me now. Okay, next item. And again, I'm going to show this to you. So this is what it looks like. And you're like, what in the world is it? Some boxes have printing on it. This one, it's got a barcode that they use on Amazon. Um, all this says is made in China. It does, oh, it does say tropical leaf. So see if I would have like squinted my eyes and looked, but uh, I went ahead and opened this up, decided I wanted it. So here's the back. I mean, this is wood. It's a nice wooden piece, and this is what it looks like. Isn't that cool? So, I mean, it's a very thick, real wood piece, still shrink-wrapped with the corner protectors on. So, I paid, like I said, $3 for this. This will probably, I'd say, go in my booth for probably, I'd say, 8 to $10. So, not too bad. Nice, huh? Unfortunately, before, and I guess I really do understand why they're doing it now, is this would somebody pull it out of the box and just toss it and then it would get knocked around and dug through for days on end and then it would just they'd end up throwing it away because nobody wants it okay so there's that those are both reselling items i actually got this for my daughter she actually picked it out she went with me this day this is uh um something that she's been looking for and it is uh, Want to be a dream maker painting series and it's got little cats on it and it's got a pocket on the outside and a handle and It is I think she's going to use it for pens and pencils. So it's got the uh, The uh, little sections here where you can put pens and such and it's literally pages of that and then when you zip it closed you can carry it with you. She is an art school so uh, this would be perfect for her to carry around. And then, of course, it zips. It's so funny. We did. We went to this place several days ago, and she keeps saying, Did you do your video yet so I can have my, <laughs> my pencil case? She's got one. See how when you, when you zip it up, I mean, it's quite thick when you put all your pens in there. So she kept saying, Did you do your video yet? I want to start putting my pens in there. So, yes, I did your video. <laughs> So there's that again, three dollars. Um, here's another item. This was in a box. In fact, I looked and saw what this was, but I didn't actually take it out of the box because this is what it looked like. And I did see on the outside it is a wind chime, and it looks like there's pieces coming off. Uh, oh, it's a. Is it a solar wind chime? This is what I love about wind chimes. No, not really. Uh, yeah, I guess this lights up. This is weird. This is different than what I thought it was going to be. Okay, it's an owl, evidently. I'll try not to bend it around too much, but that'll be about an hour of my time untangling that. But $3. Um, I have found wind chimes there before and have sold them. Uh, 
I think last year I found like the huge one that has the real big pipes on it and those are expensive. I think I got it literally, like I said, for $3 because I always go on $3 day, which is Wednesday. And I found, and I ended up selling it for like 20 some dollars. So this, I was kind of thinking I might keep it, but I'm not sure. Um, this is, um, they are little LED lights. Let me take it out. This is what they look like. I'll show you the picture. I don't think I'm going to take it all the way out. So they are little tea lights, and then they have this little frosty cup over them, so they look like that if you just use them by themselves. I'll take it out. So it's got this little tea light, and then you can put this over it. I'm probably not going to be able to see it very well because, yeah, it kind of lights up like that. It would look better if it was dark. Or you could just use them like that. And the base they come on is rechargeable. So I was thinking about using these because I have, if you've watched my videos, you see I do a lot of my haul videos on my, uh, my table in my dining room. And I have a little snake looking thing that's got like nine lights in it. So this would be nice. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not, but $3, it was definitely worth it. Um, I do find a lot of fake candles, the light up ones, um, at this store and I do buy boxes of them because I sell a lot of things that have candles in them or are supposed to have candles in them and they sell better if I have uh, one of the electric candles and it's really cheap to get literally an entire box so there are what two four six eight ten twelve for three bucks so individually that makes them pretty darn cheap so yeah probably will end up selling those um I do get to glassware and things occasionally that need some filler, so I got these. Again, it's got the barcode on it. That's how Amazon keeps track of all that. That's what they look like. So that will go down with my other uh, filler items, so when I have a piece of glass. These other, the last two items are extremely practical. <laughs> um, people do buy uh, shipping supplies from Amazon. Uh, I do sell a lot of clothes, so I do really need, um, you know, postal bags or poly bags. And these are so cute. Let me take one off. Look how many there are here. So there's probably a good 200 here, I would guess. This first one's a little bit banged up. But it says, hello, beautiful. Isn't that cute? So this is the perfect size for my clothes that I sell. This is what they look like when I package them up and then when I pull them out to ship them they go in here and then off they go I think it's it's cool for you to get a pretty package you know so yeah so that is what I got on those and I usually only ship my clothes in pretty ones I don't know I guess at one point I was kind of considering like Poshmark or one of those places and I thought oh, everybody wants to do the pretty packaging so I got these I got some other ones they had pineapples and oranges and cactus and all kinds of stuff on them and I've been using those but I'm kind of just sticking to eBay so I thought this was good three bucks can't beat that and then I got just plain ones and on here it says 200 pieces 9 by 12 tear proof postal bags I wouldn't say tear proof maybe tear resistant but these are just basic white postal bags um, again this is something I can use it looks like they were open and then they taped them closed but not too bad that was definitely a good deal for three dollars so I didn't get a ton of stuff this time um, I don't know it's hit and miss you spend a lot of time taking stuff to the table opening it up looking at it going back over getting more stuff taking it over so yeah I mean it was a lot so um, so I got what? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, uh, 21, 24 dollars. So not too bad. Uh, definitely I'm going to make that back even just on the picture and the clock. 20 plus all my postal supplies. So that's pretty good. So I know this one wasn't a particularly 
awesome or weird or cool one, but I keep going. I like to show you what I get, and I want to show you that there are possibilities out there. There are places that aren't just thrift stores, that aren't just an auction. Places that you can get lots of stuff that you might not have thought of. So these places are popping up everywhere because there are a lot of returns on Amazon, and they got to dispose of this stuff somewhere. It's too much of a clog on them. It's easier for them to just um, make up a pallet, sell the pallet, and let another company deal with it or resell it or whatever. Just, you know, especially if the stuff's been opened, it can't be sold as new anymore. So that is all that I got this time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And I will see uh, you later. And I will have another haul or some other nonsense for you. So I will see you again later. Thank you for tuning in. And until next time, happy picking. Bye.